few months back, I created a second episode of the Reasons to Root Your Phone series. Then I followed that up with a Reasons Not to Root Your Phone video. But after perhaps scaring some people off from rooting their phones in that most recent video, I wanted to give the rooting world some love once again. So I went back to the drawing board and found 10 more pretty convincing reasons to root your phone. You ready? Let's go. And so reason number one is that with a rooted phone, you can really level up your file management. For example, I've used the file management app Solid Explorer for as long as I can remember. And whilst it works really well as a standard non-root file explorer application, if you have a rooted phone, then you can actually explore the system root files as well. Now you've got to be careful with this level of access, but in the past I've actually been able to use this access to find bits of code within Google's phone app. And then I was able to edit that code and enable the call screen feature that was blocked here in Australia. You can also just take a little poke around to see what apps are storing what files and even perhaps clear some valuable storage space, as long as you know what you're doing. And that's reason number two, better system cleaning. With a rooted phone, you get access to hidden files that might be taking up unnecessary space and you can delete them. Now, if you don't feel comfortable using a file explorer to do this manually, and in fact, I probably wouldn't recommend using this method, then you should instead try a system cleaning application like SDMade. The app actually does work pretty well even if your phone isn't rooted, but it becomes all the more powerful if it is. If your phone is rooted, you can then grant the app access to all of the system files on your phone, which essentially levels up how much cleaning it can do. Oh, and the root version can also delete system apps as well. Reason number three, improved system backups. Now in the last video, I listed Titanium Backup as an app worth using if you've got a rooted phone, but then a lot of people commented saying, dude, Titanium Backup is like so five years ago. Swift Backup is where it's at. And after trying it out, yep, I totally agree. Now again, like SD made and a lot of apps featured in this list, you can still use Swift Backup without root and doing so will still allow you to create comprehensive backups of every app installed on your phone, as well as text messages, call logs, and applied wallpapers. But with the root version, you can then take that a stage further by backing up application data, granted permissions, battery optimization settings, and even Wi-Fi network configurations. This means you can pretty much restore a phone to an exact replica of how it was before it crashed or was factory reset, for example. Unlike Titanium Backup, Swift Backup also has a really modern and fresh UI and it's updated regularly. Reason number four is also in the realm of backing things up and it's a tool called Migrate. So where Swift Backup is designed to back up important data in case your phone carks it or for if you're switching over to a new phone altogether, Migrate is actually a ROM migration tool in that it backs up all of your data and then packages it together as a flashable zip. Then after you've flashed your ROM file of choice, you can then flash this flashable zip created by Migrate. And then once you boot up, your device will be set up and ready to go pretty much exactly like it was before, but now with a new ROM. All right, reason number five, better battery life. And that's by using an application called NapTime, an app that dubs itself as the real battery saver application. The idea is that when your phone's display is off, NapTime will lower your device's power consumption by utilizing Android's built-in Doze functionality. Without using NapTime, Doze can take quite a while to kick in. And so if you use NapTime, it'll simply speed up that process automatically, thereby increasing the level of battery saving that can occur when your phone is off. There's a whole heap of settings to play around with to really customize how the Doze functionality works on your phone. And whilst you can actually get most of the app's features to work by granting it a couple of permissions via ADB, to really get the full experience, you wanna use it in conjunction with a rooted device. Reason number six is better customization. And this is a reason that's popped up in the past two videos, but this time we're looking at a specific application called Arboard. Now, if you're a fan of customizing your phone, then chances are you've already looked into the various Google keyboard themes available. But with Arboard, you can unlock an even huger variety of themes. Once installed, you just tap the little color palette icon up here to enter the themes menu, and then you'll be greeted with a huge selection of themes to really make your keyboard look fresh and unique. It's pretty impressive just how many additional themes it adds in. In fact, over a hundred, believe it or not. So a pretty simple yet cool reason to root your phone. Okay, the next reason is that with a rooted phone, you can actually level up your privacy. 
So you know when you're browsing through an app and you click a link and it opens an in-app browser? Well, unless the application has created its own entire browser, which is pretty rare, they will usually instead just call upon what's called the system web view browser to display the web pages for them. And on Android, the default web view renderer is from Google. And this thing is all about tracking you. So on a rooted device, you can actually change your default web view renderer. One of the best third party options by far is Bromite. And if you install and enable this one, you'll then have the option to enable a whole heap of additional privacy settings. And you can also block ads, which is always nice. All right, reason number eight is that with a rooted phone, you have much more control over how your phone is performing. Now, there's a lot of apps that let you do this, but one of the most popular is the all-in-one toolbox by 3C. Pretty much any and every tool you might ever want or need to monitor and control your phone can be found within this app. Want a summary of how the various hardware components of your phone are performing? There's a page for that. How about seeing to the exact second what apps are using processing power at any given time? Yep, there's a page for that as well. Some features do work without root access, but again, for the full experience, you wanna use this app on a phone that's rooted. All right, this next reason is a cracker. If you've ever deleted something off your phone that you didn't intend to, well, you actually have a much higher chance of restoring it if your phone is rooted. Now you could, of course, go digging through your system files using an app like Solid Explorer, but one app that makes the recovery process much easier is Disk Digger. Now again, you can use this app without a rooted phone, but the developers do point out that you've got a much higher chance of recovery if your phone is in fact rooted. There's a basic scan for non-root phones and then a full system level scan, which is where root access is required. And whilst you might find that sometimes the recovered photos are a bit distorted, hey, at least you're able to get them back, right? Now, aside from any one feature or application, in all honesty, I think one of the biggest reasons that you might wanna consider rooting your phone is because it's just downright fun. Unlocking features or customizing aspects of your phone that normally can't be customized can be a serious hoot. And I've spent many, many hours and days even just looking up different tweaks and features that I can utilize thanks to my phone being rooted. We're three videos into this series now and I've showcased nearly 30 features or tools that you can unlock simply by having a rooted phone. And that shows that spending time looking for and installing mods can be a heck of a lot of fun. But there you have it, another 10 reasons why I think rooting your phone in 2021 is still something worth considering. If you're questioning whether rooting your phone is even safe to do in the first place, well, as mentioned, I have made a video that unpacks that exact topic. So I highly recommend that you watch that before plunging into the world that is rooting your phone. I'll leave it linked up in the cards and down in the description below. Now, every single feature or app mentioned in this video was actually taken from the comment section of the last Rooting Your Phone video that I made. And there's plenty more where that came from, but definitely feel free to let everyone know of any other additional root-only apps or features people should be aware of. And I'll try and put together another episode at some point in the future. As well as that, if you haven't heard by now, my filmmaking course, Creating Cinematic Technology Videos, is back up and live on the newly redesigned Graphy platform. The course is filled with over five hours of in-depth content that unpacks my entire process for creating high quality technology videos like this one, and it's ridiculously cheap. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description below as well. Aside from that, that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you later.